It's less than two weeks until the municipal election, and there are some interesting races outside of Toronto, including right here in Wasaga Beach, with a familiar face running for mayor. That's right, Giorgio Mammoliti. He was known for making headlines as a Toronto City Councillor. He once called for a citywide 11 p.m. curfew for youth and caused a furor when he made this reference to drug dealers in community housing. I see it. Uh, like uh, spraying down uh, a building full of cockroaches. After more than two decades as a councillor in his North York riding, Mamaliti lost his seat in the 2018 election and moved to Wasaga Beach. You are a colourful, controversial city councillor in Toronto. Who got things done. <laughs> so, do, will that style of politics work here? No. Are, so no. have you changed? Yeah, one of the things I'm telling people is that um, you know, Toronto was a different flavor altogether, right? And, and with 45 uh, politicians in that chamber, you had to yell and scream sometimes to get your, your community what they wanted. But here's a different uh, a tone. They don't want that flavor. It is definitely a different political landscape in Wasaga Beach. It's known for having the world's longest freshwater beach with one and a half million visitors a year. But many have said the strip is tired. This prime lot was gutted by fire 15 years ago and all these years later still remains vacant. What to do with it is an ongoing debate. I think a lot of questions need to be asked in this town about the value of land and and why this has been sitting so uh, so empty for so long. In August, the town agreed to sell the land to a developer with a minimum 120-day due diligence period. The plan calls for retail on the ground and condos above with a public square. I think uh, selling the beach off uh, and building condos is just the wrong approach. This is Mamaliti's vision. It does not include condos. He wants to maintain an old charm. Instead of selling this property to the private sector, I'd like to keep it and and create a square here that brings the rides and the flavors back that, that most people remember about Wasaga Beach. Wasaga is growing. It has about 25,000 full-time residents, roughly quadruple the population from 30 years ago. Still, there won't be a lot of ballots to split between the four candidates running for mayor. It is a crowded race. Meet Leslie Farkas, an aviation business owner who ran for council in the last election but lost. Now he's running for mayor. It seems to me that um, Wasaga Beach is sort of at a crossroads in, in where it's going to go next and how it's going to proceed. Absolutely. Um, Wasaga Beach is developing very quickly. Farkas believes Wasaga Beach needs more options for tourists to spend their money. We want to develop, but we also want to keep our identity. Do you want condos in that spot? Uh, I'd like to see minimal condos. I mean, I'd like to see no condos if it was possible, but I understand that there is a minimum requirement for a developer to come here and do the work, and I, I do understand that, but I certainly would like to see that number a lot closer to the minimum number uh, than the maximum number. Taxes, infrastructure, and protecting the environment are some of the other election issues. The two other candidates running for mayor are Nina Bofolci, who is the incumbent mayor, and Brian Smith, who was the mayor prior to Bofolci, but lost to her in 2018. We reached out to both of them for this story, hoping for an interview, but we did not receive a response while we were here. In Wasaga Beach, Cynthia Mulligan, City News.